Evening guys, welcome to lockdown number three and also tutorial number three. Um, today I'm going to be showing you how to do a pattern brush along the lines of this kind of thing. Um, so what you want to do, you want to go into Procreate and open a square canvas and then the first thing you want to go and do is come up into your actions here and turn on your drawing guide and edit the symmetries. So you want to come down to symmetry in the corner, press options, and then you want to do radial. So press done up in the corner, and then I want to select a hard airbrush. I have it up about halfway up the slider. So the first thing that I'm going to do to create the outline of our tile is I'm going to draw a bit of a square around the edges. Let me do that a little bit better. So go right from the edge and then just hold it to snap in place. Now, I prefer the patterns to look in this more kind of diamond shape. You can obviously do a square pattern, but just me personally, I just prefer the pattern to be diamond. It looks a little bit better, I think. Um, so what you then wanna do is start to fill in the center of the pattern. So I'm just gonna draw something that looks a little bit like this. Um, then do a bit of a straight line, snap that into place, um, get the eraser out and then we just get rid of this middle bit there um, and then do a little bit more detail maybe something that looks a little bit like that, I don't know. And then one final line to about there. Okay, so this is gonna be a repeating pattern. Obviously, this is just in the center of this square. So the whole square is gonna repeat. Um, so what we need to do now is fill these edges with this same pattern. So if you come up into your layers, um, I find it best to change this to multiply. So if you scroll it down to multiply, select that. And then if you duplicate this layer, so just push it across and duplicate, come up to the little cursor at the top, and then you want to make sure the snapping, both of these magnetics and snapping are both switched on. So then what you want to do is pull this up there until it snaps into place. So then if you look back into your layers, you just got this part there now in the corner. Um, so you want to duplicate that again. And then if we highlight this one, come down here and flip it vertically. And then you can drag it down so it fills that corner. What I like to do, I just merge these two layers together. You can just pinch them like that. And then duplicate that layer. So again, you come onto your selection tool. Then you want to flip it horizontally and just move it across so it snaps into that corner. So there we have a repeating tile pattern ready to go. Um, one little shortcut I found, instead of saving this image and then loading it later on, you can come back into the actions part and if you press add, you can come down and press copy canvas. So you wanna copy the canvas and then come back up into your brush library go to the bit wherever you're saving your brushes. I've been doing quite a few, so I might end up releasing a bit of a brush set towards the end of the month, but we'll see how it goes. So if we go into plus, create a new brush, um, what you wanna do now, instead of going to shape, which we've been doing so far, you wanna come to grain, and then in your grain source, if you go on edit, import, and then you can just press paste, and it'll bring it into there. So we need to invert this image now. So use two fingers, double tap, and then you can press done. So the first thing I'm gonna do before we do anything else is, I think it's Apple Pencil. Yep, drop the opacity all the way down. Okay, so I'll press done, and then I can come back onto the canvas. We'll get a new layer up. So I can show you what we've just made. That is a pattern that looks a little bit like this. So there's one thing that I personally like to change in the settings. It's this thing 
here, where is it? It's in grain. So down here, the offset jitter. If we clear this drawing pad, basically, if you were to draw this pattern, every time you take the cursor, the Apple Pen, off the page and you start again, it'll overlay a whole new pattern. So it's a bit of a mess, obviously. So if you turn the offset jitter off, like so, every time you draw and take the cursor off, it'll just carry on the same pattern over and over and over. Um, another thing I do, obviously, is change the maximum size a little bit. Sorry, in the grain. Change. Oh, maybe it's not in grain. Now the brush size I'm looking for. I think it's there. Yeah, I think it's that one. Um, so yeah, done. And then if you come back out of it, um, you've got a brush like so. Um, so that's the tutorial basically, guys. That is how you create a pattern brush in Procreate. Obviously, like I say, you are kind of stuck to this square so you're not going to be able to create a kind of cool hexagonal pattern or triangular even we might be able to create some sort of triangular pattern but only stuff that has basically two sets of symmetries um hexagons have three so you can't use those um circles you could use those as well you could use some sort of cool circular pattern um i might do one of those tomorrow actually to show you um but yeah, if you have any questions or anything, just drop them below in the comments and I'll try and answer them as best as I can. Um, but yeah, I hope that was helpful. I hope you followed it quite well. Um, good luck, guys. Enjoy the rest of Lockdown Part 3.